how Dan? I'm making some farina. So that's my microwave is going. It's the morning. I'm making some farina. I and now I, I'm having a conversation on this Whisper app with, with this individual. Here's a whole conversation. I, I type I type in ways to the brain. I don't talk to idiots. Because that's like talking to a wall. I talk to their brain. They always think you're talking to them because they don't have a soul to enter stupid. I just talk I just talk to their brain. So I posted this post on Whisper. It said, here's a tip to expose someone evil. Of course you have limited space. So here, here here's how it reads. Here's a tip to expose someone evil who's well hidden in facade. When they try to say you don't make sense, just see them. See that as them holding back things and hurting others until they can come along. Which I'm saying, see, it works with the fucking brain where it just makes them feel confused and, and get ready to attack. For my purposes, that's perfect. Of course, I could I could clean up and make them and make them have terminal depression that just run off and and and, to, and stop existing immediately. I'd say, yeah. but for my purposes, it, it exposes them and make them and, and make them be able to be targeted so they can get extra attention to them. I'm gonna say extra attention. <laughs> it, it makes them it makes them be able to have extra attention to them by responding to me or doing something. So, uh, so I can totally understand how this may how this may seem strange, but it did it did trigger this soul as fuck, who didn't, who didn't just who didn't just attack like most of them, but again here I'm gonna read it again. Here's a tip to expose someone who's soulless. When they when they try to say you don't make sense, see that as them holding back and hurting until they can come along. That's the mark of Cain. The mark of Cain is to hold back. So when you see that their first instinct is to attack, which is to hold back instead of them growing, that means they don't have a soul, 100%. So this guy said he don't understand it. So then I said, it takes being smart and not having a disposition about yourself that crumbles. I'm supposed to say with frustration there. After the crumbling of frustration, there's always negativity. And that proves that someone doesn't have a soul. A common way that happens is when someone say, is when someone can't understand something, and then displays it's okay to call what they don't understand crazy to protect their own pride. That's a very subtle, but very absolute act that proves evilness. So think of it as a blessing, because then you're able to mark them as a beast before they do something worse. <laughs> And then, and then, then, then the individual said, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you can read it. And then I said, it's deeper than that. This is what I mean about talk to your wall. I know how the brain works. So it doesn't even matter about reading this. <laughs> and really, that's how I type. I don't even listen to other motherfuckers. I don't, since our, since our, if a motherfucker is talking to me, unless you're a real person, since our, I am not listening to anything you're saying. I'm just using universal analytics. I, I don't go. So you can read this and see if it fits. I'm not really, I, I'm glancing over it, but I'm not really, it doesn't matter. I, I know the trajectory that these soulless fucks do. Based on what I said, I know what the response is going to be. So I don't really, based on what I said, I know what the response is going to be. Because they don't have any sentience. Think about that. So then I said, it's deeper than that. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's always going to be deeper. It's deeper than that. You're, th you're not thinking deep enough. They're setting their standard based on their weaknesses that's a character issue i can tell by just that alone you're someone who simply believes their facade because he's trying to make excuses so he's he's something so stupid he believes their facade like someone saying i'm trying when they're just trying to quiet their conscience that's not something you mark character for you don't fucking judge others because they look normal when you're having drinks with them or when you're clowning at work that's not how you judge others but a lot of simps think, think that you do, and, and you can judge someone for being that simple. So it blows back to them, because it goes to an absolute level. And then, and then I explain, you're a hoarder type, because you can't just give up on others. You see traits of decency that's not there, and that's like those morons who put sweaters on dogs. Or those idiots who would let a dog babysit and be surprised when, when a dog kills their baby. Not even do it to eat. Just kill the fucking baby to be the top dog. And then, and then, and then the total trigger 
where that marker can come in and that post stops them from just being totally negative. It puts them on notice. So then this idiot, then, then he says, I dislike how correct you sound, which is honest, which is what I've earned, by the way, I've phrased the post. And then I say, you must be someone where reality stops at your perception. It's evilness that makes you dislike the truth. Because the truth is from the hand of God. The truth is going to be salty. Anyone who want to sweeten the truth is going to be someone extremely messed up. When they want to sweeten the truth and make the truth easier and more palatable to them, that's someone who is always going to be extremely messed up. They're going to be extremely messed up. They think the universe revolves around them and they set the standards based on their weaknesses. None of those traits are normal. <laughs> and then, I don't think that specifically. I, I didn't read that. I should have read that because then I could have died, delved into that and said, you don't think specifically because you don't have a brain to go on and on and on like a champion. You're trying to stop. You're, he's trying to stop or she's trying to stop where she can't go on and on and on. She's trying to basically get to a safe spot like an animal having territory and just beating up other animals who've come in that area instead of going on and on and on like a real champion. I'm, I, I hate, now I almost kind of hate that I didn't read that. I should have, because I would have expanded on that. I, I was just doing the rap based on the other stuff. I should have been paying attention to this. And so then I said over 95% are soulless. What's most numerous is always going to be more wrong because it takes less earning. It's, it's the same way that there's less rich people. It takes hard, more earning to be rich, like economics teach you. So it's going to be less because it's harder to do. So it's always going to be more who are more wrong. Soulless life, or so backwards, they think that if the, the majority are doing it, if the, if the masses are doing it, then it's more right. That's how backwards they are. Even though we have phrases like, their size over substance. Uh, no, they have phrases like that. You see how I did that? No, there's substance over size. Uh, there's quality over quantity. They think the opposite because they don't have a soul. Think about it. That's, that's not normal. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's, that's not normal. That's them doing anything they can to fit in. Anything they can to feel good. At the detriment of even common sense that they've been exposed to. Because their body is right. Their brain is right, but it's just the extreme darkness in them because they're not a person. <sighs> so then I, I really didn't read that, but then I did pick up on the mob mentality because I saw it would pop up when I was typing. So you have to be smart. The mob mentality is a human version of the animal pack system and can be used to mark soulless humans. All animals feel their group is the pinnacle, which you can't help but agree with. <laughs> Even insects believe that. So you can tell soulless humans when they display traits where they think their group is a pinnacle and they can't think bigger than their ego and self-interest in the group that they're in. Like all blacks are worried of, or a black is worried about all blacks where they can't think bigger. Like, imagine, there's actually jokers out there where it could be a white kid who's dying of cancer and then they would just pretend for you. Then it's a black kid, then they would really care. If anyone has to look for similarities before they start caring about others, that proves they do not have a soul. When, you, when they have to look within and look for similarities, that's just a way to trick. That's a way to trick empathy and to trick looking like a good person. And that's straight from Satan. So they have to look for similarities and then they can bond with others. But they're just looking for themselves because they only know themselves because they don't have a soul. So that's what I'm saying there. So when, I didn't even read this, but let's read it. So when others attempt... To shame you for not acting. I think I think I glanced at that, but that's peer pressure. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so, but then before that, I was going based on what the response would be if, if it's a toxic individual that's just shut their brain down. So I type. So the market of beasts. That's a visual market of beasts. But the market of beasts is a tone of lowering standards to fit in. So the visual market of beasts. It was things like them saying, I'm only human and making excuses for themselves as opposed to getting better instantly. Or they're making excuses for you like your God or their mommy. That should creep you out. But then I, but then I started peer pressure and thing where I just, where I do have some good reading comprehension. So I just glanced at and then I just said peer pressure is unscientific and ineffective and childish. And that's a way to mark a beast too. If they need peer pressure because they're not a self-starter. 
Because it's a billion ways in a million situations to mark a beast. <laughs> the mark of the beast is the lower standards to fit in. That's the gist of it. That's the tone of it. So you look for actions to match that tone of lowering standards to fit in. So an example is if someone says a word, it says some words or a phrase and they can't explain it when you ask them to. They just think their feelings can make it true. That's a lower standard than explaining it. So that's a mark of a beast. That's an example. Get it? It's that simple. Of course, you have to be smart, but it's simple because God is merciful. And then I just gave an example. So that lets me know this is a soul as fuck. Right there. That's how I know this motherfucker don't have a soul. An example of what? Someone saying words they can't explain. That's pretty <laughs> explanatory. Yeah, That's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Call it something. So I give it another example. I didn't even read that. I'm, I'm giving it another example. Call it something they don't understand crazy as opposed to pushing themselves to understand is a lower standard. So if you're calling something crazy as opposed to just trying to understand, you're doing a lower standard, so that means you have the market of the beast because you're not a person. The funny part is when I say I'm not listening, I'm going to go back to that. Idiots would think that they that they just copycat. They don't understand. It's like I, I already know what they're going to say, and I already, I already have an answer for it in two seconds. I don't have to listen. No. <laughs> they're doing it out of weakness because they're stupid. Because that marks a beast too, where it's the mimicry. Where they don't have a direction and they, they're looking at others to pick up new behaviors. That proves that the thing doesn't have a soul. It's like, this is just, this is just the skills that I have because, because of who, who, who I am and the skills I have. I don't, I don't have to listen. I already know what an idiot is going to say here. <laughs> so you seem to have a brain that needs to simplify things and compartmentalize instead of going on and on and on like a real champion. You can't grasp what absoluteness means. Absoluteness is where you don't need exceptions. Everything without a soul needs exceptions. Everything without a soul needs exceptions. So it's just like, yeah, you do this. And then, say, and then they're already thinking about cheating or how they're going to get past something. They're already thinking about what I, what are the exceptions that I can do. Because they're soulless things that needs exceptions so they can feel they fit in, which is a lower standard. It has to market a beast. Beyond that excuse, you seem to look for exceptions. If that's the case, that's another marker of evil. Those who don't have souls derive pleasure from finding exceptions in things. That's a philosophical way of rebelling against God's perfect truth. Not understanding isn't an excuse. The serpent didn't understand. And that's the template and the tone for all evil acts that follow. Yeah. Because it's the truth, not understanding, and then it wanted to just teleport and understand like God to fix it, because it couldn't, it couldn't do that middle part and earn its way. That means, it's, that means you don't have a soul. That when your brain understands that, it's going to shut down and attack you. That's why God put the conscience there. That's just the truth. There's nothing you can do about it if you don't have a soul. 95% of motherfuckers don't. <laughs> and before you say it, Say it after thinking that only babies have the grace to get better. So if you think that you should have the grace to get better, you're, you're, you're supposed to already be better. Which means you better have some fire behind your booty if you're already an adult and you're not better. Only babies have the grace to get better. So you don't have any leeway. If, if there's flaws that you have as an adult, there should be nothing stopping you from fixing them. Definitely not using an excuse. And it should definitely not come to that mark of Cain. Where then you want to hurt something else to make it pretend you're not as low as you are. Which is all they're doing. They're trying to dismiss other things to pretend they're not as low as they are. Uh, picture it as someone thinking that earth can be grabbed like fabric and just pulling down to be on top. That, that proves that someone doesn't have a soul. Again, 95% don't. Uh, not understand it isn't an excuse. You're just cursed with limitations so you can't apply statements to everything that's absoluteness you can't apply someone says something you can't apply it to everything you have to look for shortcuts or you have to look for it to just be in a certain area which means you don't have a soul that's what i was talking about in the last video no one watched it, about matthew 16 23 when, or which happened before when peter when peter didn't understand or as it said when one of the apostles of the apostles which is just peter didn't understand what Jesus meant with that parable about the Pharisee are starting to prepare for an execution because they were asking questions. 
and he used yeast, again, a yeast to get ready to make bread. So as things can't understand a tone and apply it to every situation, that's a mark where this society has gracefully set them up to show you what they are. Because they think that that's, comp that, that that's something they're comfortable doing, where they can't be judged for. And that's a blessing for you, that a lot of work has been done to set up for you, if you're a person, so you can see that this thing isn't a person. And then you can just give up on them instantly. Yeah. When they show that, that, uh, that it's okay to not understand, where their brain is so lazy, it has to compartmentalize. That shows that thing isn't a person. And that's a blessing for you. Because this is revelation time. So 95% are soulless. This is revelation times. The, the walking dead isn't zombies. Have you ever seen a zombie that's not on TV? Because a soulless thing would say, I see one on TV. No. Have you ever seen a zombie come up? That's how stupid they are. Everything is what they've seen before. And then they're believing stuff that they've never even seen before. Yeah. <laughs> When you're that much of a contradiction, that's a sign of Satan. You are not a person. The Walking Dead isn't zombies. It's just ego-chasing losers who ruin the world and slow everything down and to make sure that they're not left behind. The marker came. So an example is, you call the police for help, and then an ego-chasing dimwit shows up and does the opposite of help. It kills, they kill you. Yeah. <laughs> or you go to the doctor. And you're expecting someone competent who would know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're talking about. They can just give you some bad advice and misdiagnose you. Or, or ego-chasing politicians are supposed to serve citizens and they're just serving themselves to get votes and fucking up everything in this country. That's what Revelations is explaining. That's all, this, that's all the shit is explaining. That's what Revelations is explaining. So, ego gets in the way of logical thinking. Because ego is just animal nature coming through in human skills. It's just a generic animal personality. Every animal has it, but they have a lesser brain, so they have lower skills. So now with a human skill, it's just an imprint. It's just a ready-made, rubber-stamped personality. It's not even hand-drawn. It's not even a unique. It's a rubber-stamped personality of animal ego. Me, 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 me. They got to get theirs as soon as possible because they're going to die and stop existing. They're, they even know they're not going to be. They even know there's nothing after the moment that they're in now. It's just a series of moments until they die and stop existing. It's just animal programming. That's why I call them drones. So they're drones like bees or ants. And you're only thinking of yourself because it's like just because the police have came and just harassed you and didn't kill you. Others have been killed by the police. So that, 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 let, that lets me know this motherfucker doesn't have a soul too. It's like that lets me know it. You're only thinking of yourself when many have been killed. The goal of maturity is to see bigger than yourself. It's not normal to see things by first worrying about yourself. That's not normal if you're an adult. A real person looks bigger than their ego and self-interest. And then, then, and then they're trying to get flippant so they can, so they can be wrong in peace. And get around her conscience. And I just shuts that down. Even that, that question alone shows that you're weak as fuck. Well, because you just can't get better. But then I'm being tactful here. I, I really. If, I, if I'm just typing. If I'm just typing without. Without fucking. Without putting any. Without in, putting any control in it or something. Which is still going to be right. I would just say you're a sorry motherfucker. Who just want to protect your weakness. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. Normal by by what creates normal is I was supposed to say ills, but I guess the restraint I was I guess the restraint I I mistyped it, but it's supposed to be normal ills. What creates more accuracy? What's normal is what creates more accuracy. It's not what's easier to do or what the majority does. It takes a soul to get better endlessly. What must I do to awake from that? It's like soulless fucks never understand that third option. You can't get better. Or you would already be right. You can't get better. You can know if it's an evilness and a weakness. And also the drive of what makes you want to get better. If it's just, it's just a quiet your conscience. Where it's not genuine. Then it doesn't count. The soul is a source of energy greater than all in the physical world. So even if one's body grows old or tired. The soul and the spirit continues. Evil is just this flesh is stuck in a world like you. <laughs> You seem to not understand a possibility that you can't get better. The baby brain can't understand finality. 
So that's an indication that you're just baby trace in a growing body and not real. That means it's like a black hole where these things are just an imp implanted, imprinted, rubber stamped animal personality with human skills. But then their body is growing until it dies because it's not they're not really alive. It's kind of like the body is just going where it's just a generic body going with those baby traits. Which is why they're so desperate, which is why you do the same thing and they act the same way. It's just that they're just products of their environments mimicking. Yeah. So you're looking for outs about things like personal growth. And that's a telling sign. People look for outs on meaningless shit, like not doing their homework or traffic tickets. You're kind of creeping me out. <laughs> and, then he said, and then he just confirms it. I don't get traffic tickets. I take a redem redemption. I've been doing my thing. It's like, yeah, that's a mark not having a soul. You're worrying about pleasing authority because you have no clear internal direction from a compass inside. You're not a self-starter. Oh, and then I think he said something about being a dev lead. Okay, and then this is how you shut down every soul estate. Here's the meat of this lesson. Okay, you're a dev lead. And then what? Because they don't have goals now. They're just, and they're just doing that to fit in and look important to you. And why are they trying to look important to you? So they can feel good. It doesn't go anywhere. They don't have goals. People have deeper goals. Yeah, but you're not a self guard. Now you're a technical architect. Yeah, and then what? People have deeper goals than that. That's not a goal. <laughs> to live past your... Now, now you're a technical architect. And then what? And then just before they even answer, I just answer what they're going to say. The gist of it. No, you're doing it. To get accepted. And you're trying to get accepted to just feel good. That's it. You don't have goals. <laughs> because you're soulless. My, because you're, you don't have goals because you're soulless. My point is proven. Okay, what are your goals? Blah, 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 blah. All of those are just to get accepted to feel good. Those aren't goals. <laughs> and then I don't have any goals after surviving. And I got to the meat of it where... Yeah. Well, these are probing questions where you get to the meat of it so you can prove this thing ain't a person and things like it isn't a person. You're trying to get accepted by others just to look by looking right to others. That's not a goal. People are deeper than that. And that proves you're like William Hung thinking he's a real singer. It's like a stick figure compared to the Mona Lisa. Well, because those aren't goals. The self-preservation is not. No, it's not. Self-preservation is not the number one goal. People grow past that. Babies worry about self-preservation. And that's a technical thing. Because they can't move or communicate. Because of a logical function, a baby worries about self-preservation. And lower animals worry about that. That's the lowest level of logic. People mature to put what's right over all. And then it comes back around to help self in a beautiful cycle. These soulless things are stuck at the first stage of life. Where they can never get past that first stage of self-preservation. And that's the biggest marker of the beast. So, as people grow, we grow, we grow past that self-preservation. Like a caterpillar growing past that to be a butterfly. Through the strength of the soul. That's what we call maturity. You just got away with pretending to mature by sidestepping it. The soul is proven. Because it takes more energy than you are born with. To mature past that nature. To break through it. They don't have a soul to break through it, so they just sidestep and run in circles and pretend and use a facade. That's why a facade is so important in religion. <laughs> You're just pretending, and that's why we highlight the facade, the facade in religion. Because you're just being evil. That's why evil is highlighted as facade and trickery. Let's say you never matured. You just pretended to for others. Plus, your simple mind thinks that mimicry is the same as knowing and learning and growing. It's not. It's just what's in a brain for babies to learn how to copycat walking and talking. It's only for that purpose. And these things are misusing it to misrepresent themselves to you. So they make a mistake and then they learn to say, I thought we, or they learn to say, I have mercy, I try hard next time. And then, oh, but then they're just mimicking. They can never be right the first time is what you're looking for. All of that is in a DNA code. So that's the scientific method. You're just wild baby traits without a soul, mimicking your, mimicking your way through life until you die and stop existing after your biological function ceases. After the eyes stop sending information to the brain and the ears, the senses 
the skin, all the touch, sending information to their brain. And it's just baby, it's just baby trace. And it's not a real soul or real consciousness, just baby trace and selfishness responding to the images and sound and stimuli they're having. Where it's nothing there. It's nothing there because they're not a person. And the truth is salty. Because if you need the truth be it made more palatable, that means you're worthless. That's dismal, but it's in line with what you said. So this comes to an end. Anyone needing to soften the truth is evil. Because they're showing that they think their weaknesses set the standards. That's the lowering standards to fit in, which is the mark of the beast. That shows they think the universe revolves around them. That's what I call animal narcissism or baby narcissism. And that only happens with soulless life stuck. Soulless life that is stuck in a box of stink of... Ego, the stench of ego, semen it with their foot stuck in cement of self-interest where they can never break through to live in the real world. They're just stuck in a box of ego until they die and stop existing. Think about it. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then that's the end of it. <laughs>